Natural pointers. What the heck are natural pointers? These are things that draw attention, and what are they? They're basically all of your limbs, your hands, your arms, your fingers, your feet, your legs. These are all things that can end up drawing attention in a negative way if you allow them to. What I'm trying to say right now, if, if I were to go like this and point my finger at you or do something or say, look at this, you're automatically drawn into whatever it is that I'm pointing at. When I have my hands up in a kind of spread position like this, my hands are taking a lot of attention in this frame versus when they're down on the table and I'm leaning in and speaking to you. The hands, the body, the arms, the fingers, all of this has a lot of power in it. And while it has a lot of power in video, I want to tell you that it has even more power in a still photograph. Because in a still, it's a frozen frame. In video, I can do this and one second later, my hands are back down on the table and it doesn't really matter, you're not thinking about it again. But in a still image, it's so important because you sit there and you fixate on it. Now let's give you a couple examples from this course. Now in doing the indoor scene, which we're gonna to get to shortly, you'll notice that Gina actually has her hand on his collar and the way that she's holding it turns her hand into kind of a pointer. It looks like she's pointing up on something. So right away, her eyes are leading down to her hand and his eyes are kind of leading down towards hers and it wraps me up and in here and then the hand is pointing right up here and I'm like, what is right there? What is it that she's pointing at? A better pose would have been just to leave the hand open with the fingers evenly spaced apart, not splayed open, but just nicely evenly placed apart and just resting on his chest. Right now, it looks like she's pointing at something. Does that make or break the photograph? Not necessarily, it's still a good photograph, but it is something to be aware of. There are instances where it will break your photograph. This is another case where we have the arms. So look at this, arms are going down, arms are going down, all the hands are right over the belly. And so what area of this photograph are we naturally gonna be focusing on? We're gonna naturally just have our eyes drawn right into the belly because the arms are leading us there. Now, for this particular shot, it's fine. It's a nice intimate moment, it's great, it looks good. But if our bride were a bit self-conscious about being maybe more heavy set, or if you didn't want it to feel like a maternity photo and so forth, this would be a very bad position to be in because it would literally draw attention right to where she doesn't want attention. So be aware of that. If you're shooting subjects that are model type figures and it's not gonna matter at all where the hands are placed, then fine. Know that it is gonna draw visual weight there. But when you're dealing with normal people at normal proportions, understand that these kind of things are gonna have a very massive impact on the way that they look at the frame. And if he or she has a kind of self-conscious attitude towards his or her belly, then probably holding, whether he's holding her belly or she's holding his, it's going to feel awkward and uncomfortable to them. And when they look at it, they're not going to like the photograph. Next, I want to show you guys this one because this one, we've kind of done everything in a positive way. If you look here, we have the arm going across and we have the fingers pointing in nicely on the back of his neck. We have the hand coming up and we have the fingers going up nicely. The arm is drawing up and in. His arm is creating this closed loop and we have the veil that's covering them both, eyes kind of going down. So we have this nice closed loop right here where it really holds us in the image. And I love, let me just finish this um, smiley face. Uh, I'm gonna just do an eye there and, and then the, there you go. And then there you go. Perfect, perfect. Next picture. Okay, looking at this one, again, watch the eye lines. So you look at them, they're looking toward each other and you look at the hands and you can see how it just kind of leads your eye down and up one other side, okay? It's great, one, we go up one side, we go down and it kind of pulls you back into the frame, right? So notice how we can kind of keep on doing this and it doesn't take us out of the frame. If she were pointing out or in another direction, it would take us out of the frame, but that's fantastic. Notice here, this was when um, I said something to Heath like, like you can thank me later for all the things that I'm, because I, I kept having, Gina kiss him and I'm like, you can thank me later, bro. And he brings his hand up and does that little sign. And I thought it was so interesting because notice just how much visual weight his fingers and that symbol takes on versus the faces. I mean, they're placed right next to the faces and yet my eyes go from their face to his hand every single time. The visual weight is so much just right here in the frame. I love this shot, by the way. I think it's great and I think it's something that they're gonna dig. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see the impact of simply bringing a hand up in the frame. 
So understand that the hands, the fingers, they're gonna be natural pointers. This is one of those shots where this was a completely candid moment. I mean, to the extent that I set it up, I said, this is what I want you to do, and now jump on his back, I want you to be in this pose, I want you to look towards her, and do all that. When this happened, I had him run it back a second time, and the reason was because the fingers splayed open like this. So with the fingers all open, we basically have five pointers going across on this side, we have five pointers going across on this side. It's just a lot of visual weight. Again, does it make or break the photograph? No, I think I ended up still delivering this because the expression was just that great. But it's one of those things that does draw attention. So again, not letting the fingers splay open, but keeping just a nice amount of even spacing between them, soft fingers, and letting them just kind of naturally fall onto the chest is where you want to go so that you don't get 10 natural pointers that take the viewer all over the image. Okay, so that's it for our natural pointers. Let's go ahead and move on to the next video now.